The overview of today's quick seminar is, what is a family holding company and what are its benefits? A family holding company generally is structured as a family limited liability company or a family limited partnership in the jurisdiction or state where you live, where you reside. It's set up to hold a variety of assets that you may own currently in your own name or in your revocable trust for the benefit of you and your family members. The benefits of a family holding company are myriad, they're many. Number one, by putting all of your assets into a family holding company, it provides centralized management and control of all of these assets with you being able to remain in charge, at least in terms of the investment decisions that are made by the LLC or LP. It also continues to ensure family ownership of the assets, but indirectly. In other words, let's say you own a piece of real estate and you've got three kids. On your death, instead of giving them a one-third share of the real estate, which can be very onerous in terms of how they make decisions going forward, you can put the property in a limited liability company, a family LLC, have one or all the kids in charge of it, but have centralized management and centralized decision-making at the LLC level. Most importantly, these LLCs are used to reduce gift, estate, and generation skipping transfer tax. We do that by utilizing valuation discounts on the LLC interest that may be transferred to your kids or a trust for your kids. Because they're not acquiring a direct ownership interest in the assets, they lack the ability to sell that LLC interest, and it's called a lack of marketability discount. In addition, if it's a non-voting interest while you retain the voting rights, the non-voting, non-managerial value of that is less than the voting interest or managerial value. So those two discounts, lack of marketability and lack of control, generate significant discounts at which you can transfer a piece of the LLC to a trust again or to your kids and move that discount as well as any appreciation on the assets in that trust out of your estate permanently and avoid the 40% estate tax, 40% gift tax, and 40% generation skipping transfer tax on transfers to an individual who is two or more generations younger than you, like a grandkid. And lastly, the family holding company is a great asset protection device. What do I mean by that? Well, if you set it up in the proper jurisdiction, like Delaware, Wyoming, Nevada, then the creditor may only have the ability to attach assets that are distributed from the LLC and not the LLC interest or the LLC assets itself. So if somebody gets a judgment against one of the LLC owners or a beneficiary of a trust that owns a piece of the LLC, they're not going to be able to force a liquidation of the LLC and therefore it provides asset protection benefits in addition to the tax benefits. Again, this is an excerpt from your multi-million dollar exit, which is available on Amazon. And if you'd like to know more about family holding companies, visit our website at zellaw.com or buy the book. There's a whole chapter that describes the benefits of family holding companies. We hope you enjoyed listening to this educational moment and have a great week.